Mitsubishi Starion. The Mitsubishi Starion is a two-door, turbocharged four-cylinder rear-wheel drive four-seat hatchback sports car manufactured and marketed by Mitsubishi from 1980 to 1989, with badge-engineered variants marketed in North America as the Conquest, under the Chrysler, Dodge, and Plymouth brands. The Starion was one of the first modern Japanese turbocharged performance automobiles with electronic fuel injection, following the earlier Isuzu 117 coup. Mitsubishi began marketing the Starion in 1982, during a period in which a number of Japanese Grand Tourer GT, sports cars were available, including the Nissan Z cars, Mazda RX-7, Toyota Supra and to a lesser extent, the Honda Prelude, Isuzu Piazza and Subaru XT. The Starion was marketed in the U.S. under Mitsubishi as the Starion and badge-engineered variants of were marketed as the Dodge, Plymouth and Chrysler Conquest. In the U.K. it was sold as the Colt Starion. Manufactured in two body configurations, a narrow body and wide body, the narrower style complied with Japanese exterior dimension regulations taxing larger vehicles and engine displacement exceeding 2 liters. Only the narrow body was offered through the 1985.5 model year. The introduction of the wide body also split the car into two ranges, a non-intercooled lower horsepower car using the narrow body style and a high-performance intercooled wide body. In most markets, wide body cars were given the label of Starion SR or Conquest C. Markets that never received the wide body had the SR label. These cars had similar performance as the wide bodies. Wide body cars were offered in 1986-1989 model years in the US. The Starion was the featured vehicle in the 1984 movie Cannonball Run 2. Mitsubishi says Starion is a contraction of Star of Arian, and refers to both a star and the mythical horse, Arian. The cover of the original Japanese Starion sales brochure, published by Mitsubishi, May 1982 carried the text, the name Starion, derived from the combination of Star and Arian, Hercules horse in Greek mythology, symbolizes a sense of the universe, and of power and high performance. Several sources attribute the name to struggles by Japanese engineers to pronounce the word Stallion. An early Japanese television commercial for the Starion closed with a logo of a stallion's head with the word Starion below it. One translation of the voiceover says the name refers to a star and the mythical horse, Arian. The Mitsubishi Colt and Mitsubishi Eclipse featured equine names, with the Eclipse named after the champion racehorse. The Starion uses a traditional front-mounted engine with rear-wheel drive layout. Many came with a limited slip differential and anti-lock brakes, single-channel, rear wheels only, as standard features. The entire chassis was derived from the previous high-performance variant of the Mitsubishi Sapporo or Mitsubishi Gallant Lambda Sports Coupe, with a McPherson strut suspension and sway bars that were fitted to the front and rear. Rack and pinion steering was not offered, instead gearbox steering was standard on all models. Engine capacity differed between markets. American customers received the larger Saucasteron G54B 2.6 liters engine. Most markets received the SOC 2.0 liters Sirius G63B engine, subsequently featured in dock form in later Mitsubishi Sport compacts such as the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Both the 2.0 liters and the 2.6 liters produced roughly the same horsepower. The larger 2.6 liters did have a slight torque advantage and the 2.0 liters had a higher redline. Reporters of the time considered the 2.0 liters to be peaky and exciting, while the American market 2.6 liters had plenty of torque, but was less rewarding. Both engines featured computer-controlled fuel injection and turbocharging. After 1987, European Starion models were also fitted with a 2.6 liters engine, as was the GSR VR for Japan. The move to the 2.6 liters in all markets was spurred by emissions restrictions around the world tightening to meet the American standards for lead-in fuels. Reviews during the change were negative as many felt the car was slower, for most of these markets this was the case as the engine change also coincided with the move to the heavier body style. From 1984 until 1987 in Japan a 12-valve, 
two intake, one exhaust, sock intercooled version of the 2.0 liters G63B was made available in the top spec GSRV, and some GSRVR, trim grade Starians. This setup was known as the Dual Action Superhead, or DASH for short, due to its ability to activate the third intake valve above a certain RPM, thereby increasing top end response, flow and overall engine performance. Redline was increased to 7000 revolutions per minute on these models. Horsepower varied between 150 to 197 horsepower, 112 to 147 kilowatts, 152 to 200 PS, depending mostly upon the turbocharger that was fitted, the presence of an intercooler, and whether the 8-valve or 12-valve head was used. A naturally aspirated version known as the GX was offered in the Japanese market, with production ending in 1983. The Starian GX was offered without power windows, air conditioning, independent rear suspension, fuel injection or power-assisted steering. Seating was a 2 plus 2 with rear seats unsuitable for large adults. The front seats were adjustable for lumbar, angle, knee support, position and featured variable angle side braces. Front seat belts were located in the doors for the driver and front passenger. 1987 and later American models featured electrically operated seat belts. Newer models also featured power windows that remained powered up to 30 seconds after the engine was turned off. In Japan, some of the early cars built still featured fender-mounted mirrors in the traditional Japanese style. A 5-speed manual transmission was standard in most models, however, an automatic transmission was sold as an option in some markets. Later upgrades to the model included an intercooler, 5 lug wheels replacing the 4 bolt wheels it had shared with the rear wheel drive Mitsubishi Galant Lambda, rear powertrain changes from 4 to 6 bolt axles, various fuel management upgrades and upgrades to the transmission. Towards the end of the model's US run a wide body could be bought with a sports handling package or SHP. This included adjustable front and rear struts and 1 inch wider wheels from 16x7 to 16x8 front and 16x8 to 16x9 rear. The SHP was only offered during the 88 and 89 model years. The package can be retrofitted to earlier pre-wide body cars but include converting to 5 lug hubs from the 4 lug hubs. The drag coefficient was around 0.32, superior to the Mazda RX-7 and the Nissan 300ZX upon its release. Notable upgrades included multi-port injection MPI, consisting of standalone engine management, programmable computers, to control individual fuel injectors, one per cylinder versus the stock PCIe CM2 injector system, two injector systems, primary, idle injector, and secondary, boost injector, non-sequential firing, 8386, and sequential firing. 8789. Australian vehicles were mostly similar to the European turbo specification. The J codes below denote the model version, and are found on the Australian vehicle information plates. The Starian was a prominent competitor in motorsports up to international level during the 1980s and performed well on the circuit in Group A and Group in races of the era. Andy McLennan driving a Simmons drum sponsored Starian was very successful picking up many race wins and a Monroe Championship, this against the semi-works car of Colin Blower. In the Netherlands, John Hughes and Holtz won the over 2 liters class in the Dutch Championship, with the Colin Blower prepared Mitsubishi dealer's car. In the United States, the Starian became best known for successes in endurance racing. Starians from Dave Wolland's team Mitsubishi with turbocharged 2.6 liters G54B engines built by noted Lotus engine guru Dave Vigor, captured the prestigious longest day of Nelson Ledge's 24-hour endurance race four years running from 1984 through 1987. Team Mitsubishi Starians also won the Sports Car Club of America SCCA, U.S. Endurance Championships three of those four years, competing against the fully factor-backed. Wollin's team was only partially sponsored by Mitsubishi, efforts from Chrysler, Audi, Nissan and Mazda. Although not commonly seen in modern motorsports, 
a number are still raced on both circuit and in special stage rally events, usually by privateers. The Starion was not very successful off-road, but found victory in Group of World Rally Championships and Asia Pacific Rally Championships during 1987 and 1988. An all-wheel drive version of the Starion was also produced for Group B specifications, one of the few Japanese automobile manufacturers to enter this class, but after an encouraging start as a prototype, it was not homologated before the FIAB and Group B cars for safety reasons. The Starion was converted to all-wheel drive by adding a strengthened transfer case from a Pajero behind the transmission. This configuration allowed the engine to be situated well back in the chassis, for improved front, rear weight distribution compared to the Audi Quattro, whose configuration required the engine to be far forward in the car. Although the wheelbase did not change, the use of regular headlights rather than the production model's pop-up headlights allowed the nose to be 6 inches shorter, as well as saving several pounds in weight. Further weight was saved by the use of carbon fiber for the drive shafts, sump guard, and lower arms of the suspension and fiberglass for the hood, bonnet, tailgate, door skins, fenders, bumpers and spoilers, resulting in a final weight of less than 1,000 kg, 2,200 pounds, lighter than the Audi Quattro. The car was developed with a turbocharged and intercooled version of Mitsubishi's 2.0 liters fuel-injected engine, but the final goal was to use a turbocharged and intercooled 261 kilowatts. 355 PS, 350 horsepower, version of the Sirius Dash engine that Mitsubishi announced at the 1983 Tokyo Motor Show, which switched electronically at 2,500 revolutions per minute from one inlet valve per cylinder to two. The car was campaigned for Mitsubishi by Team Ralliard in Essex, Great Britain, under rally veteran Andrew Cowan and engineer Alan Wilkinson who had developed the Audi Quattro for Audi Sport UK, 